just just sounds when you read this and you read these scriptures where Yahweh, they said Yahweh spoke and Yahweh said this. And you think about how pastor approaches things. It's like, you know, that almost sounds like how pastor Israel would address the problem. And we see that in his actions when we deal with him in the work. We see how he works with us and how Yahweh guides him and Yahshua guides him to help guide us. And you can see it, that it's the same type of guidance that you see Yahweh given to Samuel right here. Okay? Now, there were some other, some other words that came up. And let me read those to you real quick. Guest, visitor, appearance, traveler traveler future past and real so you know what's really amazing about this is the greatest kohan of all father yahweh in heaven our most beautiful loving ahab heavenly father is able to foretell the end from the beginning but he also has the great power and he's going to allow our most honorable high priest the two witnesses, Yisrael and Jacob, and if possible, even us, to be involved with the beginning from the end. And with that, if you'll all please stand. As the beautiful song says, think on these things. Yahweh bless you all the great Sabbath. And at this time, I have the opportunity to turn it back over to a great priest in Yahweh's house, the great Khan Michael Hawkins. The beginning. This is so amazing the way that Yahweh shows all these things, isn't it? I mean, you know, how, how can how can anybody not get excited about these things, you know, and, and, and see the things that Yahweh has in store? I mean, and he included us in these things. Remember, the whole book of Yahweh was written for us, right? So let's get back to the original. This time I'm going to introduce to you Great Kahan Benjamin Cross Hawkins. <laughs> Shabbat Shalom. Please be seated. Yahweh's peace be with everyone, everywhere. All right, let's go ahead and put up the title today. We're going to move to something a little bit different. Okay, we're going to be talking about the original sons of Yahweh. This is going to be part one. And we're going to be learning about some shedding of blood that was taking place before the shedding of man's blood. Okay, and how this affected in how it's affecting in these last days. Let's go ahead and go to the first slide. Now, in Genesis 1-2, it says, The earth became without form and empty, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And if you look at the footnote there, um, darkness or empty, it, without form, it means a vain, worthless thing, full of God worship. So that's added in there into the Amatria. And, and it says... Also to be led astray because of false doctrine, misery, death, destruction, ignorance, wickedness, and sorrow. That's the footnote under darkness. So I'm going to read it again. The earth became without form and empty, and darkness is upon the face of the deep. A vain, worthless thing, full of God worship, to be led astray because of false doctrine, misery, death, destruction, ignorance, wickedness, sorrow. And you'll notice you get the number 1410. Well, we're going to learn about the dark side of 1410, okay? Because 1410 is talking about Gad. Gad is that troop, or as Pastor explained to us, this troop of demons, okay? The original sons of Yahweh, and it means to invade, attack, to crowd and overcome, and it means to go in troops or bands. It also means crowds, okay? Pastor explained that Gad can also be called Gadarenes. Remember the the man of the Gadarenes that was uh, possessed by the legion of demons that was wandering among the tombs. He called them Gadarenes or Gadarenes or gods. Put those three in and you get 666. Let's go to the next slide. So this earth became uh, a, a desolation, but notice this is from There Is Someone Out There, page 49. Pastor says, it was not Yahweh who brought the earth to destruction. It was other beings not having the character of Yahweh, which is to live by the proven laws of peace, but who were led astray. These beings were the first sons of Yahweh to whom Yahweh had given power to create and maintain flesh, 
but not the righteous character to maintain peace. Okay? Now, you're going to see a number that keeps coming up, and it's a number 3006. And I'm not going to tell you today how I know that's the tag number of the aliens or the first sons of Yahweh. I'll save that for later, but it will blow you away. And I will tell you, I'll give you a clue. Walmart. You wouldn't believe it. So the first sons of Yahweh were led astray by Satan. You get the number 3006, which is the secret tag number of the original sons of Yahweh. 3006. Okay. Let's go to the next slide. And we see the Eumatria for the fallen Malachim or the aliens. And you'll notice you get the numbers 236, which means to go to and fro. It's from 235 to go to and fro to gad about. Gad about. Gad. See that word gad? Okay, we're going to see what that means in a minute. And then uh, 1416 is the second number, and it means a band, troop, troops, army, a company, a troop of robbers and raiders, a marauding band, a crowd. And it's used in Genesis 49, 19, where it talks about Gad, that troop. Remember when his mom named him? She said a troop is coming when she named Gad. From 1413, and it means troops, to cut yourselves, assemble in troops, to crowd, to invade, attack, raid, over, etc., and overcome. Remember, Gad would be overcome by that troop of demons, but in the end, he will overcome. And that's through this house and this work in these last days. Notice, when you put in on, the, look at to the right of your screen, it says 3006. The number on that, on that unidentified flying object there. You get 236 again, and I already went through all the definitions. You get 1416 again, which is the troop. But then it gives you a third number, 1867, which means Lord. Now, when you put in all those meanings I just gave you, you get 1356, which means a pit in the Greek and the Hebrew. And 1356 in the Greek means fell from Jupiter, from Jupiter. Okay, and then when you put in... The meanings of 236, which is to go to and fro, to gad about, evaporates, gone, fail, and disappear, you get the tag number of the original sons of Yahweh 3006. Now let's learn about this word, this, this term gad about. Let's go to the next slide. Gad about means a habitual pleasure seeker. A habitual pleasure seeker. Looking, you know, for, for fun and action, you know. Just kind of cruising around, wandering around the universe, roving, you know, going up and down, to and fro in their in their spaceships, gadding about. It says a habitual pleasure seeker. Notice you get 235 and 1410 again, which means to go to and fro and to gad about. Kind of like the Masons. Remember the Wanderers? Okay, and then 1410 again means gad that troop, etc. It also means travelers, explorers. Globe trotters, rovers, ramblers, drifters, etc. Right? Let's go to the next slide. Now, when you put in the term Satan created, you get 666 and 430. We know that uh, in the Mark of the Beast, Volume 1, Pastor said, since Yahweh has given us the number 666 to identify a man, we can also use this number to identify Satan, who controls this man. So it's also a number associated with Satan. Now, that number 430 means gods and gods and angels and deified beings and judges and goddesses. Okay, remember, Yahweh sits uh, amongst, you know, the gods, remember, and he judges. And he tells them, hey, you're supposed to do things this way and you're supposed to stand up for the, the weak and everything else. And they just ignore Yahweh. They, they, they respect him, but they ignore him in a sense. Notice uh, when you put in a 666 identifies the works of Satan, you get the tag number of the original sons of Yahweh, 3006. And you see here one of the things that Satan created here with their sons called a Spinosaurus. Now look at that thing. What would you be doing with that? <laughs> look at the teeth on that. You think it was eating grass? I don't think so, man. Let's go to the next slide. When we add up the numbers and Satan created 666 and 430, we get 1096, which means being made, formed, and to be wrought or to be made. Works wrought by Satan 
and the firstborn sons comes up to 3,006, which is their tag number. And you get another number, 3949, which means to take and seize and capture and take away. Remember, they were thieves, marauding bands, troops, raiders that went around stealing and using force. 3949 in the Greek means to provoke to anger, to anger and rage, provoke to wrath. And uh, in the Mark of the Beast, part one, chapter nine, verse 129, pastor says, by using the Arabic numeral system and the English language, we discover many works of Satan numerically evolved, and he puts Yamatria to 666. <laughs> well, what I did is I changed it to Yamatria. Many works of Satan are numerically Many works of Satan are numerically 666, comes out to 3006, the tag number of the original sons. Numerically evolved, Yamatria to 666 again comes to 3006, which you could also say three at the over here on the left would be three, and then six over here on the right, like three sixes or 666. Remember the three six mafia? All right, let's go ahead and uh, go to the next slide. And let's look at one of their creations here. This is called the Tyrannosaurus Rex Dinosaur. Let's look at the numbers here. 354 means strength and mighty and powerful. The second number, 2124, means prominence. A moving creature, beasts, wild beasts. And then notice this. The third number, 2231, means from 2230, a flood of rain, downpour, a gush of water, a flood, to pour forth in floods, to flood away, to carry away as with a flood, swept them away. So what took these things away? It was called a flood, <laughs> okay? Now, in Yahweh, you know, the dinosaurs of Genesis 1-2 comes out to 21-24, which again means beasts, okay? These beasts that were created by Satan and her sons just for war games. That's all it was. Notice, these were ferocious beasts, ferocious, 666. Let's go to the next slide. Tyrannosaurus Rex was called the king of the dinosaurs. Notice, Tyrannosaurus Rex, the king of the dinosaurs, has the tag number of the original sons, 3006. Tagging them to this creation right here, okay? Now look at that thing again. <laughs> what are those teeth for? These things were tons and tons, and they were taller than two of these buildings right here. What could they be for? Let's go to the next slide. The first flood, Genesis 1-2, again, you get 2.35 and 14.10, which means to go to and fro, to gad about. And again, when you put in the numbers or the meanings of 235, you get the tag number of the original sons of Yahweh, that secret tag number, which is not a secret anymore, but... I'm not going to tell you today how I found out that was their tag number. It will blow your mind, okay? Gad, Gad, that troop of demons. Let's go to the next slide. In the 17th book of Israel, chapter 24, verse 115, pastor says, Yahweh shows that in the very start, he limited their power. Satan no longer has the power to create and maintain flesh. She doesn't remember in Genesis, that was taken away. In Genesis, I believe it was what, uh, three? Her sons don't have it either. It was taken away from them. With a flood, it was taken away from them. When the earth cursed them by bringing forth the first flood, it took away their authority, the sons of Yahweh. They can't do certain things anymore. The microorganisms, more, microorganisms will not obey them anymore. You know why? Yahweh couldn't trust them. So the microorganisms can't trust them. The gods made the earth a cesspool, a, de a den of death. And they took joy and delight in it. They left their first estate of guarding and keeping the way of Yahweh. It's talking about these original sons. Notice, left their first estate of guarding and keeping the way of Yahweh. Comes out to 3636. Read the 36 Mafia. It means complete. It's from 3634, which is, it means complete, perfect, crown. Crown. Remember that Corona? crown huh and then the second number 4296 means deviated turned aside distort perverted rest all those words that are used in second key for 316 remember how they turn things upside down and twist them 
Push aside, entices, turn, turning, turn away. Turned away from the way of Yahweh. Turned out of their first estate and went destroying things. Let's see. Let's see if this is just a coincidence. Let's go to the next slide. Uh, In the 19th book of Israel, chapter 8, verse 11, it says, The original sons of Yahweh war games with fleshly beings called dinosaurs. Notice, the first sons of Yahweh, dinosaur war games, 36, 34, the same number, which comes out to that corona, that crown. Crown. Now, what does this have to do with corona and crown, right? This blood of these dinosaurs that were, and that were, that were eating flesh, okay? Let's go to the next slide. I showed you this at the feast, cause of coronavirus, the original sons of Yahweh, 3006. I didn't show you that number because I was holding off on it. That's the original tag number. That's the secret tag number of the original sons of Yahweh. 3635 again goes to 3634, which is talking about the corona, the crown. Okay? Let's go to the next slide. Let's see if this is all. Remember pastor told us at the feast, what did he tell us occurred with all this blood and all these microorganisms, these these warring viruses? Where did they go? They went into the earth, the layers of the earth, right? Let's see if he was right. This is from 2 Kepha 3, 4 through 6. For since the fathers fell asleep, all things have remained just as they were from the beginning of creation. But they deli- That's what they say. But they deliberately forget this, that long ago the heavens came into existence by the plan of Yahweh, and an earth also out of water and through water having been set together by the plan of Yahweh. It's easy to read between Genesis 1 and Genesis 1, 2, Genesis 1, 1, and 2, that Yahweh brings this, in verse 3, he brings the earth out of water. Okay, it's very clear. Now notice he says, By Yahweh's plan also, the world then existing was flooded with water and destroyed. The first number, 36, 34, I just showed you. It means corona. The second number, 2180, means permitted that Yahweh permitted this to take place. This third number, 2643, get this, it means covered from soil. (laughs) Covered from soil? You can look for yourself. I'm not making it up. To enclose, to cover, to cover, to cover, to seal, overlay, to encase. Wow. So pastor was right again? I mean, come on, man. Now, notice this. Floods encased, floods, meaning two floods, the first and second. Floods encased in layers of soil, 1238. Crown? Corona? Latin Corona? Whoa. And it also means, 1238 means to make empty and depopulate, to make void, used in Isaiah 24.1. Remember the earth becomes empty? A wasteland? Let's go to the next slide. This was in the news just this week. <laughs> DNA from Neanderthals can make COVID more severe. Now, you remember the Neanderthals, right? No, you don't. They find them in the ground. <laughs> These weren't human beings. These were created by Satan and her sons. Okay. You know, the dinosaurs were probably chewing them up, but they didn't have, you know, they weren't spirit beings. They had blood. Okay. They had blood. They had their own type of blood. They were flesh. Notice, Science Daily ran the same article. It says the ancient Neanderthal had hand in severe COVID-19. Is severe COVID-19 written in our genes? Well, I put in, is COVID-19 written in our genes? And you get 2625, and it means a locust. A locust? A locust. Oh, yeah, a locust. To finish off, consume, and come to an end. Wow, we're getting somewhere here, right? Let's go to the next slide. COVID-19 and Neanderthal DNA. You see that 1674, which is that 666 on steroids? Showing the Vatican. And then 1404 is the lady queen mistress. And 1404 in Greek is a dragon, the great serpent. Pre-Adamites, they call the Neanderthals pre-Adamites. 666, <laughs> uh, which is the, uh, and then it says the Neanderthal genetic code, the original sons of Yahweh. You see their tag 3006? 
And again, 2625, which means a locust. A locust. A locust? Isn't that what Revelation 9 called them? To finish off, consume, and come to an end. The locust, 666. It's not talking about the locust we eat. <laughs> These are another kind of locust. Let's go to the next slide. In Revelation 9, 3, it says, And there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth. The first number, 3180, means to be red, to glow with redness, to boil red, to trouble. From 2564, seething, swelling up, used for building Babel. The second, the 3180 in Greek means craft, deceit, schemes, scheming, craftiness, wiles, trickery, lying in wait, traveling over, travesty, cunning arts. 2196, this is interesting. It means to be enraged, rages, be wroth, to boil up or angry. And 2196 in the Greek means Zerah, the son of Yada. You remember the Zerahites, 666? Notice, this was a warring virus. Pastor called it a warring virus. Notice, 2196, just like you saw on the right, which is about Zerah. And it has a 1074 because remember, who do they war against? The saints right? Who are tagged 1074. Let's go to the next slide because in Genesis 3830, it tells us about Zerah. It says, then his brother who had the scarlet thread on his wrist came out and he was given the name Zerah, that is scarlet. Now this scarlet thread, there's two sides to it. There's a thread of slaughter all throughout scripture, all from the beginning. There's a thread of hate. It's called a thread of hate. Thread of slaughter is 8, 8, 1128. Thread of hate is 666. The thread of scarlet is 1128 and 666. 1128 means the son of Dakar, son of stabbing, son of a lance, son of piercing. Well, what would that mean? Isn't that what Cain meant? Spear, lance, like war. 666, the mark of Satan, Cain, and the beast. Let's go to the next slide. When you put in those meanings, the son of Dakar, son of stabbing, son of a lance, son of piercing, you get 3234 and 1691. 3234 is alluding to Deuteronomy 3234. He says, is not this laid in the store? Remember the song of Moshe where he says, is not this laid in the storehouse with me? 1691 is the number 1961 reversed because it's going to re reveal somebody here in a system. Remember I told you about this system of war. Remember scarlet represents blood and war, 1961. The upside down year, remember that? Yeah. Notice this, 1961 in your matria means the sun cut off, <laughs> the firstborn sons. 1238 is the other number, and it means to make empty, fail, make void, and depopulate. And Greek 1238 means crown or corona. What a what an what a, what an interesting uh, uh, coincidence, right? I'm going to show you just one more slide before I go. Let's go to the next slide. I'm gonna I'm not going to be able to finish today. We'll pick it up next time. But you see this? The locust from the earth, 1674. Remember that 666, the mystical mark of the beast. And 1139 from Greek means under the power of an evil spirit or demon. From 1142 about fallen angels and demons and etc. It goes to Revelation 9:11. It says they had a king over them, the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew language is Abaddon, destruction, but in the Greek he has the name Apollyon, destroyer. Notice Abaddon, Apollyon, angel of the bottomless pit, 1691, which is 1961 backwards, reversed. Remember turning upside down? We went over that at the feast. Night 1691 is the number 1961, the upside down year reversed. And just show this last one. I, I got to just get this one in because it talks about this bottomless pit. Notice bottomless pit, the depths of Satan. We're going to learn more about that. I don't want to go anymore because I've already gone over. But at this time, if everybody would please stand, remember, you know, listen to every word that comes forth from the greatest teacher in the world because it, it I'm telling you, 
This man is so remarkable and praise Yahweh for him and praise Yahweh for everyone that's serving with him. And at this time, I'd like to turn it back over.